Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be my review for Fargo, um, Season 1, Episode 5, the 6 on Rascal. And I don't know what that means, but, um, this episode... I really want to say that I really enjoyed this episode, but I didn't. I mean, there was a lot of really good things going on this episode, but I'm going to be honest. Alright, I'm just, I'm going to be honest for a second. I'm starting to lose interest in the show. You know why, guys? Because we now have had two boring episodes, which, I, yes, there was stuff that happened in this episode. Yes, it was a good episode. But ugh, there was too much boring stuff happening in this episode and not enough exciting. There was nothing too exciting that happened in this episode, in my opinion. I thought it was pretty boring overall. It wasn't, like, horrible. It wasn't, like, um, Bates Motel Season 2, Episode 5. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna compare basically every boring episode to that, because that's literally the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life, but... <laughs> it, this episode was just... It was definitely the weakest episode of the season. There was some stuff going on in it that I enjoyed, but it was just... I don't know, I just... I feel like I'm losing interest in the show. And if this show doesn't exactly, uh, pick up and get a little bit better and more happens next week... I might stop watching. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm really just, I'm gonna say that Awkward is better than Fargo, in my opinion, this year. Um, Fargo started off strong, and I think Awkward's better than it. You know, I'm watching both at the at 10 o'clock, so I think Awkward is a better show than Fargo, and if Fargo ends up, you know, continues to be as bad as it is, which it's really not horrible, but if Fargo continues to be as um, boring as it is, just, I, I'm gonna stop watching. Um, but let's just get to it. So, the beginning of the episode, you know, Lester, um, we saw last week that Lester was, um, in, in, um, in jail, but we see that there's this, uh, big snowstorm going on, and, um, you know, there's, the fields are as golden as brown as cornflakes, and basically, it turns out Lester is having a flashback to the first time he got a shotgun. It was actually part of a bonus package. He, once, he got to, um, into the store to purchase a pair of socks, and the owner threw in the shotgun for good measure, so that's how he got the shotgun. So, he's in, now we're, we're in the present, and he's used the very same weapon to kill the police chief, so... We, you know, it's really, um, that, that's really big, because he's used that same, you know, Lauren used that same weapon to kill the police chief, so. We get to present day, where Lester is still stewing in a holding cell sandwich between wrench and numbers, and they force him to give up the name Lorne Malvo, and having... Um, they, they force him to give up the name Lord Malvo, and having Mr. Wrench's sweaty socks stuffed in your mouth will do that to a prison, along with causing one to vomit, which is exactly what Lester does. Um, I thought the scene was kind of funny, but fortunately for Lester, the two men are soon released for custody, and Lester is released from their torture, so that's good. Um, uh, Molly runs down every speck of circumstantial evidence she can, basically, uh, um, she has on Lester, you know, um... She surprisingly succumbs to his logic, and basically what happens is she pretty much, um, figures out what she needs to figure out. Um, she's, you know, really trying to figure out a lot about what's going on, what exactly is going on here, and, you know, she's getting very close to finding out the truth, so definitely soon she is going to find out the truth, and as I said, I do think the show is going to get better. It's just right now, it's kind of boring. Um, it, it's kind of like, I, I just, I hope it gets better, because it's a, it was a good show, and I was enjoying it, and I just, I hope it gets better. I really do. Um, but basically, um, you know, she, even, like, she, basically she finally convinces Bill that Lester may be involved as the pile of evidence has finally reached a height that is impossible to ignore, um, you know, Lester's in jail when she gets Bill's okay to question him. Unlikely he's passed out from the pain, and she can't get anything out of him because he's passed out. So, she decides to break into his house, and which is against the law, but she is police, so can she do that? I don't know. She broke into his house, which is against the law, but she's also the police. So, she can't arrest herself, obviously, so... Was that the right thing to do? I don't really know, but... She breaks into his house, the son, and basically, as she's breaking in, she's finding anything she can on him, any kind of, um, you know, thing she can find, and after his failed attempt to get Lauren, basically, um, it doesn't seem to be working, she's not finding what she needs, and 
Is it okay with her breaking the law, though? That's my question. Is it okay with her breaking the law? I don't really know. Um, so, basically, Gus is still trying to get Lorne locked up, and he is, you know, he's having Greta uh, look up stuff about Lorne, but nothing's coming up. And after thing for a few minutes, he connects Lorne to a place he found him. Stavros Milos' house, that's where he is, we know. So, G Gus is still worried, however, uh, however, and a neighbor comes over to help him sort through his worries. The neighbor gives him a parable that tells him only a fool thinks he can solve the world's problems, to which Gus retorts that you have to try. Eventually, Gus and Molly end up talking and agree to get together to compare notes. So, as much as Gus wants to solve the crime, it appears that he's more interested in Molly, or is Molly as interested as he? Um, we can't really tell. It seems like he's very, very interested in her. He really wants to be with Molly, so... Um, does Molly have the same feelings for him? I don't think she does. I think it's definitely more of a case sort of thing. For her, it's definitely more of a very um, business-type relationship. I think that's really what it is for her. Um, you know, I think that's really what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what was going on with with them and everything. Um, yeah. So, basically, what else happened? I'm trying to think of what else happened, because I know more happened, and I just can't think. I'm sorry, guys, I can't think right now. Um, ugh. This episode was so boring that I, I can't even remember what happened. I'm sorry. Um... Basically, though, um, we see that um, Molly might have found what she needed to find on Lester because she finds out about his wound, and she she finds out it's a bullet wound. She finds that out in this episode, <laughs> so she's starting to put together some clues about Lester, and I think she's found what she needs to. Does she, has she found what she needs to find on him? I don't really know. I guess we'll just have to see. But um, I think she's starting to find what she does need to find. So it, it definitely is very interesting. There, we'll have to see. Um, and as far as Lorne goes, Lorne did not have much to do in this episode. He is still working the double duty of being Milos's uh, private investigator and actually making sure Milos has to pay the ransom. He's finally convinced that Milos, Milos, that God has brought down wrath on him. He gets a police scanner uh, to pay attention to Gus and a walkie-talkie to spy on Gus's daughter Greta. So he he's after Greta's daughter now, you know, Gus's daughter now, so... That's definitely going to be, uh, I guess, interesting to see. We'll have to see what happens there. But, um, yeah, as you can see, this episode was just kind of boring for me. I was not that into it. I really was not. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if you guys like the episode. I, I'm sure there are people who really did like this episode. I don't have a problem if you like the episode. But, um, it, if you guys didn't like this episode, I do really understand why. The end of the episode, basically, um... We see, um, you know, Lorne is scaring everyone in town. Molly is still dead set on finding out the truth, trying to pray it out, pry it out of Lester in the ambulance. You know, because Lester ends up in an ambulance in this episode. He does. And here, Peely says he didn't pay Lorne to kill anyone, which is true, technically. Um, Molly doesn't get much more out of that, though. She does sneak into the, you know, she did sneak up into his house and everything. And, um... Basically, there are two very great controversial scenes in this episode. First, Gus and his neighbor talk about the fuel of doing, uh, of trying to do good with a parable about a rich guy who sacrifices everything. And the other thing that we did get was this conversation with Molly and Ida, who was Vern's um, wife, who, you know, Vern died. So they have a very good conversation after she has a baby. Um, it's a very sweet conversation. I enjoyed that overall. But this episode was just, it was boring. It really was. Um... The episode ends with Molly peeking in on Lester, terrified his hospital bed, and childishly shuttering his eyes as if believing that if he can't see her, then she can't see him. So, he truly is just a coward. We're, we're clearly seeing that about Lester. But, yeah, this episode was pretty boring. It really was. I'm not going to be nice this episode. It really was boring. It's by far the worst episode of the season. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I am 100% serious. Nothing happened. We didn't find anything else we needed to know about the show. We know everything already, and there's literally nothing that happened in this episode. So, that is why I hated. I did not like this episode. 
Um, it was really, really boring. And if, if these episodes continue to be as bad as this one, uh, if next week's is bad, I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to watch the show anymore. Um, I'm sorry. I, I like the show from the beginning, but it's really starting to become boring. So let me know if you guys thought this episode was as boring as I did. I don't know if you guys did, but I personally thought it was the weakest episode of the season. That's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry this review is so short. Honestly, that's, that's because, as I said, nothing happened in the episode. Um... But I'll, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. I do have a couple questions, though. Um, does Gus really lo want Molly? Um, does he like Molly? Um, does Molly like him back? Or what? I what is this to Molly? Is this more of a business thing? Or is it more of a relationship thing? I don't really know what's going on there. Um, we'll have to see. But also, um, do you think that Lester is eventually going to tell Molly? It looks like in the next episode, things might actually get very interesting because... We see Lester from the hospital. I think the guilt's eventually going to get to Lester. And he's just going to—he's going to tell her. And as far as Lauren goes, I'm really not into Lauren's storyline anymore. I'm—I'm I'm bored. I really am bored with it. I'm not into it. Um, I don't know if Gus is going to be able to catch Lauren, but I guess we'll just have to see. But that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be for awkward. So see you then. Bye.